obviously it's, it's a dream come true, Triple J Breakfast. I, I still honestly pinch myself every day and I, and I know you'd be the same. But obviously taking after a, a colossal show like Man Alex, um, it, it is, it's tough. And you, you, don't, you don't expect everyone to like it. We still don't. You know, we, we understand that. But it does get hard. You know, there is sometimes a fresh can of hate that you've got to open up every day. Mm. And it definitely, it definitely wears you down. I, I think these days there's a bit of a disconnect um, as far as some of these things go. Uh, I, and I've seen it with colleagues. I've seen it with you. Uh, I've experienced it myself with artists, anyone who strolls through Triple J or just, who's just in the public eye in general. Um, when people send things in, when people put things online, there's, there's no repercussions of, of, of people's words. Well, at least they feel that way. I think there's like a, almost like a, a magic filter, but, um, we, you know, we, we see it. We see when people text in into our workplace, we, we see things. Uh, we see all the posts. We see all the comments. And, you know, I can, I can honestly say I've had nights where I've, or I've cried myself to sleep because of stuff like that. Friends and family see the comments as well. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, it is relentless. And because, even even um, mentioning friends and family, because of that, you, you do, you get embarrassed. You get you get ashamed of, of people around you. Seeing that sort of stuff, I've had times where I've flown home uh, back to Adelaide and just felt like a, um, you know, disappointment, mm. failure. Um, sometimes it's, um, it's pretty relentless as well. Like I, I've had times throughout the last eight months where I've opened messages to my personal account, even people like quite expli- explicitly um, telling me to take my own life. Mm. Um, and it knocks you around, especially as, as a young bloke. Like I've felt things in the last eight months that I've, I've never felt before. Um, like feeling, feeling like pr- properly worthless, honestly, for, for mornings, for days, for weeks sometimes. And... <sighs> It's it's not just online. It's you know it's happened in person before. Like we, we do have to wear this sort of stuff, and you you know you you try and you try and get through it. But I I, uh, I had a, an experience uh, a few months back. I was 20, 20 at the time, and um, a few I was walking around late at night after a, after a gig, and some guys kind of cornered me, and um, were telling me like how hopeless they thought I was, and you know they thought we were, and that I'd never be. Matt and Alex and, and all this sort of stuff, and I, I can honestly say I never, I've never felt lower than that point. I um, just felt absolutely pathetic, properly pathetic, and because I, I didn't, I didn't retaliate. You know, like there was, there was nothing really I could say. These people, you know, were people that love what I love. They listened to Triple J, and it, it knocked me around for a long time. And I haven't really spoken about, I've, I've spoken about a lot of this to my friends, but not about this specifically. But for a while there, I was actually. I, I got a bit, you know, scared to go out because I kind of thought, you know, I didn't want people to judge me or kind of, you know, I didn't know what people would say to me or, you know, I, I kind of got scared. Um, and, and it takes a lot to, to keep your chin up from that sort of stuff. But I just wanted to say because, you know, we all, I think sometimes you don't even realise others struggle until they, they really open up and talk about it. And we all, we all do. We all have our points. And the reason we, we love this job so much and we, we continue on to do it and that sort of stuff, kind of you learn to get thicker skin and it slides off the back is because we love people who, you know, love the music, who, who love Triple J, the people who text in like this morning and, and call in and, and make us laugh and smile and, and that's what it's all about. And as I said earlier, in the spirit of Are You OK Day, make sure you ask someone today, whether it's someone that you're really close to or someone that you're not close to, um, ask the question all the same because it really does give someone a voice who, who might need a voice. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say. I'm sorry to bring it to a real kind of dark place, but, um, yeah, yeah, it's just one of those things. Yeah, like you said, you know, you and I uh, would be best of friends mm. and I've seen what it's done to you um, and to myself sort of off air. Mm. Um, but, yeah, just know that um, there's a lot of people that do love you and what you do, uh, myself included. And Thanks, uh, you know, in the messages, uh, you don't sift through the Facebook messages like I do mm. uh, through all the hateful ones. But through all the hateful ones, there's also a lot of loving ones. Thanks, man. So, yeah, a lot of people are here for you. Thanks, brother. And um, I, I think, you know what, I figure I'll, I'll share a, a bit of a happier memory to end things on because, uh, you know, I don't want to bring people down or bring people up. That's kind of what radio is all about, really. So um, this was end of last year, right? I, um, I was in my cheap 1998 laser, which I traded for a PlayStation in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb move, but... I, uh, I got a call uh, in a car park when I was getting some takeaway pasta and it was a call telling me 
that me and my best mate had got this job and I could, it was just like this euphoric wave crashed over me. There was, there was screaming, there was fist pumping, absolutely losing it. And I put my key in the ignition, turned the car on and Triple J was on and this song started playing. And it was undeniably the happiest moment of my life. And these guys are coming in for Like A Version tomorrow and I cannot bloody wait. If you know someone who might be struggling, start a conversation today at work. Are you okay? It's okay to talk about that sort of stuff. Gang of views right now, Mangolia. Magnolia, mate. Magnolia.